here from Escape the Rumors. Um, we are here finally at our last leg of our trip to Day 9. Really excited though. Get to go home, but we also played 60 games on this entire tour. So, first location of today, Escapology National Harbor. We are very excited to visit this location because they have a game here that mm, not many Escape Room, I um, mean, Escapology locations have, and that is Batman Dark Knight Challenge. Are we able to get out from his challenge? You'll have to see and find out. There's plenty of metered spots outside here and um, you also have a choice of garage parking. Tons of restaurants nearby as well. Let's go. Like and subscribe. This video is sponsored by Escape Room Hernan. They're just about 30 minutes from here. Located in Northern Virginia, Escape Room Hernan offers an award-winning meticulously crafted escape experience with immersive themes, intricate puzzles, and in-house design sets for both novice and seasoned players. Check out their website and follow them on their social for more. What's going on everybody? Brandon from Escape the Rumors. We are at one of our favorite uh, franchises, Escapology, but we're at a new location that we have not visited yet, which is in National Harbor, Maryland. And I'm with Mark, the owner. How are you? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Thank you for having us. Uh, we actually visited his other location, which is in... Fairfax, Virginia. Yeah. And um, I'm going to see if I can get some updated footage of that so that I can show you guys what that looks like and take a glimpse of that. Um, but we played... <laughs> Man, I'm losing it. We're at the tail end of our road trip escape through 10 states. And the game, the game that we played yesterday is Antidote, the chemical warfare version of that. Updated version. Updated Absolutely. version. 2.0. Yeah. All right, let me ask you, when did you open both locations? So we opened in 2018 in Fairfax, and the plan was to immediately open a National Harbor. Um, we had a lease in place, but then COVID hit. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it was very crushing. Uh, we, we, by the skin of our teeth, we survived there, and then it took a few uh, hot minute to uh, to get our sea legs under us again, and okay. and come into here. It took us about a year to build out here, okay. uh, and we've opened. We've been open a year now. Wow! And they're in a great location. Actually, both locations are great. There's so much to do in the area. Um, now, here, let's talk about here. How many games do you have available? Eight. Eight. Oh my goodness, eight games. <laughs> Out of the eight, which seems to be the most popular? You know, it, it, people seem to gravitate towards Lost City and Mansion Murder. Those okay. are the big names. Scooby-Doo uh, is probably up there as well. And then the rest are, are do well, but they're a little behind. Okay. Uh, here's a fun fact. Scooby-Doo is actually uh, one of our favorites out of all the, all the games that they have. Um, and I can give you a sneak peek of that right here if you click that link. Um, but actually, could we take a look at Scooby-Doo? We haven't seen what yours looks like yet. Sure. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, let's do it. I, did you see that? No, I didn't see it. <laughs> I swore that, all right, never mind. Scooby always gets me. <laughs> um, all right, so now I gotta continue asking you, as an owner, yes. you have two locations. Um, just, is there any advice you could share for any future owners or any you know owners that are out there right now? Any tips or things you wanna share? It's a tough journey. You know, getting, the, the toughest part of the escape room game is getting it open. Okay. Uh, building it and, and contracting with people to build it. But once it's built, then the work begins in terms of trying to grow your audience. And that, that again, is a heavy lift. So mm -hmm. it takes time. Uh, you know, definitely uh, we're ramping up still here after a year at National Harbor. So uh, hoping to continue to grow, but it, it's, it's, a, it's a journey. Okay. Now, is there any updates you'd like to share? Any announcements of uh, things coming from any, both of your locations? Gosh, I don't have anything for that. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, I put you on a spot. He's like, ah, oh, I can't release anything right now. 
Well, um, follow them on their social media in case there is any announcements that are coming soon in the near future. Um, now, I have a question for you. I love asking this one. Um, you play escape rooms, I'm assuming, because you, you, I feel like you've been playing since way back when. You got to. It's yeah. a great experience, yeah. Okay. You got to love it to be in it. Um, and I believe we talked off camera. Your son is the one who got you hooked. Or... He did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, when he, back in 2017, he, he kept trying to get me to go to an escape room, and I thought, boy, it sounds like something for kids. But mm -hmm. uh, he finally, he moved down to Alabama and invited me to play there, and uh, it was a great time, and, and it was like, I'm all in. Okay. So that's what started everything, started the journey. Share one that stood out for you. It doesn't have to be your favorite game, but one, uh, preferably the name of the company and the game. Like one that stood out for you that was memorable or anything. Five Wits. Okay. Very unique experience. Uh, just playing through it, just, it was a lot of fun. Do you really remember which it. one it was? Was it the uh, Dragon? The Dragon, yes. The dragon? Yeah. All right, well, uh, shout out to Five Wits. Hey guys, we are standing inside Seven Deadly Sins, which we have visited down in Florida. Um, I can give you a sneak peek trailer of what that looks like right there. <laughs> but before we do that, I'd like to introduce you to one of the area managers, Harden, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you for speaking with me. Now, I gotta ask you, because I feel like at both locations, while game mastering, seeing players in the room, on camera, you've seen a lot. Is there a story you can share with me of something funny, crazy, outrageous, anything? We've probably heard almost everything. Okay, yeah. So we had a couple about two years come to play our Cuban crisis room okay. over at Fairfax Corner. Um, what, we hosted them in. It's about midday, 2 p.m., like a Wednesday. Uh, as the videos start, they turn off all the lights in the room, get up on the desk and start making out. So oh, we as Game Masters kind of had to ask them to stop and they decided to end their game early and head out. So. Wow, okay. I mean, it is cheaper than getting a hotel room, right? I, mean. I guess, but you know, you're on camera, so. <laughs> they forget they're on camera. God, they people, really guys, do. Please don't forget, you are on camera. People are watching you. Some of these cameras also have night vision, so it doesn't matter if you turn the lights off. They're going to see everything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, well, at least, you know, it didn't get any further than that. Nope. <laughs> well, but a waste of their own money. Yeah, wasted their money, and uh, well, no, they probably got started and went somewhere else to yeah, com yeah, complete the mission. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing us. I really no appreciate problem. It. All right, let's see if we can find Mark around here. All right, Mark. Well, thank you so much for having us. I just have one more question for you. You seem like such a great guy. I uh, want to get to know you a little bit better. What is okay. something most people don't know about you outside of escapology? Okay. You have like a hidden talent, a hobby, something you like to do, anything. Well, I used to be an endurance athlete, so I used to do a lot of uh, running and biking and okay. and. Uh, swimming and so i've done half iron man probably 30 marathons did a 50 miler so that was uh it was kind of a it was a whole different life back then wow i was gonna say when you have time but like i feel like escapology is taking over <laughs> it's taken over <laughs> i had to give that up you can't do both <laughs> <laughs> well hey thank you so much for having us i really appreciate it and today i forgot to mention we are playing batman the dark knight challenge I'm very excited i'm a huge batman fan have not taken the peaks seen it at all but uh Maybe Mark here will let me get a sneak peek trailer for you guys to see what that looks Absolutely. like. Absolutely. You're we'll going to love it. We'll have to find out. Also, check out our website, escapethelumis.com, so you can know what you thought of the game. And also, please do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel because we are showing you sneak peeks of what to expect when you get to these locations, the parking lot situation, the lobby. Escapology always has a great lobby, but they all look a little bit different. And also, um, I get to speak with cool people like Mark and know more about him and the company. And you won't be disappointed when you make it on over to Escapology in National Harbor, Maryland. Ah! <laughs>
Left for me to move Time is running out, gotta figure something out